Welcome back to the Steve Malzberg Show. I'm Dennis Michael Lynch filling in for Steve today, who is off celebrating Yom Kippur. I'm joined by my panel, and they are Patty McMurray, the co-founder of 100percentfedup.com, and Mark Krikorian, executive director of the Center for Immigration Studies and author of The New Case Against Immigration, both legal and illegal. They're with me today talking about how it is that Facebook just seems to want to censor people who are conservative and who are against illegal and mass immigration. Mark, if you can explain to me why it is that Facebook did the following. They took a report that your organization created about how it is that jobs are go new jobs in America are going to immigrants versus going to U.S. citizens. And about a month ago, Facebook took it down. What's the story? Well, what happened is we posted it to our website. There's actually several reports on this subject of jobs and immigrants, just based on Census Bureau information. Nothing really inflammatory. It's in interesting. It matters for policy, but it's not anything really all that big a deal. And what we found was that when people were trying to share it, share those reports, there are actually four of them, share them on Facebook, they were prohibited from doing so. And a box would pop up saying this is abusive and you can't share it. Uh, and only when the news media picked it up, Breitbart and some other people called Facebook's PR people and said, hey, there's this thing going on. We had complained to Facebook. Two weeks, they did nothing. When the reporters called up, immediately, immediately fixed. And they said, oh, no, sorry, it was just a mistake. Uh, you know, don't mind us. Didn't mean anything by it. I don't believe them for a minute. Is it the only time that you've ever ran into an issue with them? For Facebook, yeah, this is the only time we've seen this. But, you know, it's kind of suspicious given that Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg, is the head of Facebook and has this very active and very strident lobbying group that's attacked us, our organization, and me personally, uh, repeatedly. It tried, the lobbying group, the goal of it is to pass amnesty and uh, unlimited immigration. So, you know, frankly, it smells pretty suspicious to me. All right, so let me move over to Patty for a second. Patty, you have not... Uh, experienced a one-time issue. Yours seems to be a daily occurrence for a very long time. In fact, I'm looking at a, uh, a thing in front of me here where you're actually in Facebook's penalty box right now, if you will, because of something that you posted or reposted, I should say. What's the deal with that and how have they been treating you and why? Yes, um, actually I am in uh, Facebook prison right now for 30 days as we speak, Dennis. Um, thank you for having me on the show to give me the opportunity to talk about this. Um, the, um, the post in question that um, myself and actually um, the co-administrator on my page have been banned for 30 days from Facebook for um, was actually posted um, by another website on our page. Um, and it was uh, far from objectionable, the, uh, the post that was on our page. Um, so wait, wait I, want, I want to do it. So it says, uh, Patty, we've removed something you've posted. We've removed it uh, because it doesn't meet with the Facebook community standards. And now all you do, I'm looking at this here, all you did was you just wrote some just basic commentary with somebody else's link. And yet they're putting you into a spot now where you are somewhat being censored and punished uh, from your Facebook page. Now, here's the thing that I think is very important. Patty, um, you know, Facebook, for, the, for those of uh, people who are watching right now don't know, Facebook, for a page like yours and for a page like Mark's, is based on likes. How many people, that's the whole thumbs up thing for Facebook, how many people liked your page? Now, Patty, you have, what, 430,000 people liking your page? That's correct. Okay, so obviously Facebook is trying to stop you from getting your conservative message out because we can't go through every single instance there is but I know from talking to you that it's like a weekly thing where they're taking down a post or uh, they're doing something to you why is it that they're doing this to you if you had to wrap it up in 20 seconds well I mean you know I just don't think that a conservative message is very popular on Facebook and um, I think primarily it, my view is that the, the biggest reason why we've been a target is because um, for years now before um, illegal immigration became a, a big issue um, we were focusing on it we were talking about the refugee reef settlement act before patty, it was patty, patty i actually got to cut you off patty because we gotta we gotta take a break up next a special tribute to a very special person yogi bear but first as the Pope's historic visit to the United States continues to dominate the headlines, more and more Americans are asking, who is Pope Francis? 
As always, Newsmax has got you covered. Learn more about Pope Francis and his humble rise to the Vatican in the book, Francis, A Pope for Our Time. Get this special offer right now at Newsmax.com slash Pope or by calling 800-203-7047. Learn about the personal experiences that shaped Pope Francis's pastoral commitment to society's most underprivileged and disenfranchised with this hardcover biography from Newsmax. Order right now at Newsmax.com slash Pope or call 800-203-7047.